Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel Ava's Vlogs with Less with me, Avanita Guys, I just want to take this opportunity to say thank you very, very, very much For all the lovely birthday wishes that you sent to my mom. I, um, I actually sent her some of the messages that you guys sent to me and she is in love with it She's so so happy. So guys, thank you so much for all the birthday wishes. Thank you so much again Also guys, thank you so much for all the birthday wishes that you continue to send to me thank you very much so in my video today guys i want to show you how i use some wood that i found to make a console table so in here you can see that i found some wood it's from my house clearance and then i just i bring them in the back of my garden and um, in the daytime it was quite warm but i was still i still had to wear my jumper so throughout the video you'll see that i had to change and take off my jumper but i just measured it out and i'm using one of my gifts that gabo got for me i will leave the link in the um, description box below so if you want to purchase it as well and um throughout the video you will see a lot of other gears that i got for my birthday i'm so in love yeah but Please, please be very careful with this part. It's my first time using um, this jigsaw. Yeah, jigsaw. So it was quite, um, it was quite fast. So I had to kind of turn it down, but still I just controlled it and then just worked my way through it. So what I did, I just measured all the, the, the wood that I needed and then just cut them off to the size that I need them to be. on one of my box which is the box that holds my things I didn't have a table so I had to use something and then here I just you know write the side so at least I don't get confused and I know exactly where everything needs to go here I got these four legs of Amazon I will leave a description uh, a link in the description box below here I'm applying them to uh, sorry I'm attaching them to the base but after you will see I had to change them and then here I use my wood Gorilla wood glue again. I will leave a link in the description box below, and then I just use these braces just to hold the glue um, onto the other side of the wood so it dries easily. And here is what it looks like after I'm finished, and I've taken out um, the brackets that I use to hold it together until it's dry. I actually went in and put those back bits on, but I'm gonna take them off because I didn't really like it. So here I'm just using the mirror just to kind of get an idea as to where I want. Them. this will be a mirrored console table guys trust me you want to watch the whole of this video to, just to see the end of it i'm so impressed with myself it is so so awesome also i want you guys to watch the video to the end because i have a little competition for you guys and i want you to tell me what you think so here i got this um mirror sheet it's kind of a contact paper i got it off amazon as well i'll leave a, a link as well and then i'm just measuring it out here and then um, i use my elbow grease to clean off the table because i don't want it to have any kind of dust because obviously i use the saw to cut it there's dust there that i can't see but yeah just clean it off and then i just um, went ahead and start um you know applying or putting on my mirror contact paper and as always, as I said, you know, just be patient with it and just try to get out as much of the air bubble as possible that you can. And then after I finished put on the mirror contact paper on the, on the top, I decided, okay, I'm going to use some um, the mirror mosaic tiles and then just see what it looks like. I'm really impressed and I just thought, okay, I'll, I'll work with it. And then as I said to you before, I went in and take off the back of these because I didn't like them and then I wanted to put some storage um, baskets inside and it wouldn't. So I just took them off and then I just went ahead and just cleaned the rest of the console table with my elbow grease again because of the dust and I want to work on it. And then here I just started adding um, the, the mirrors directly to the places that I measured it before and I used some of the same um, Gorilla wood glue just to keep it there secure because these um, mirrors on top they don't come with an adhesive back. The one on the second shelf and the one on the last shelf they do come with adhesive back and then again the mosaic mirror type I just cut it to size and then just attach it to the section which is the gap that is left between and I just did this um, for all of 
the, the console table and then this is what it looks like so I, after I put the mirror sheet, the mosaic mirror tiles and then also the mirrors this is what it looks like again you don't have to go through what I've been through and use these things obviously you can use other things but for me I want it to be like a, a mirror thing so this is what I did and then here I'm using like a grey but a really soft grey contact paper to um, fill in the sides and then also into the inside and then the top and the bottom of the inside so I just measured it out again you know get out the hair bubbles this is exactly what I'm doing and then just get it in nice and neat because obviously you want it to look nice trust me it came out so well I know I know I know I use contact paper a lot I do but I love it I love it it just brings out the whole new different look to anything and then you can see what exactly what I'm talking about so get all your air bubbles out and then I just use one of my many tools that Gabo have given to me trust me there's so much stuff that I've gotten from Gavin and I appreciate it so much and I just use one of these um it's like a knife and just it, sh it cuts off so so smooth as you can see so smooth and I just did this um, for the two sides on the inside and then I just um, add the mosaic mirror tiles around all the way around it just to you know bring it to what is in my head and I'm so so happy um, that I proceeded with what was in my head because it turns out so much better than what I first imagined when I started to um, cut the, the wood outside this, is, this wasn't what I thought in mind so I'm really happy and then this is what it looks like after I've finished, you know, adding the mirrors, the mirror mosaic tiles, and um, the mirror sheets, the, the grey contact paper. So it is totally finished for the moment. Totally finished and I'm in love with it already. I'm thinking it looks a little bit dry. So I decided that I want to go in with something else. Bear with me. Yabba just said to me, what if you try this? And I'm like, yeah, I tried it. But I didn't like it, but then I said, okay, let's try it in a different way. And I just said, okay. You remember I said to you I had to take off the legs. I had to. So what I did, I just used my pliers to take off that bit which is holding that um, leg. You know, when you push the, the, the furniture, it just glides. So I just used the pliers to take it off. And then I just used, um, again, one of my gifts, my um, compact, compact driver. Yeah. If I'm saying it correct. I don't remember yet but I just used it to install it and it looks so awesome and also I'll leave a link for the compact and also I'll leave a link for my glass I have so much gears and then I just add all of these legs all around um, the console table these and um, baskets I said to you I wanted to add so I had to take out the back I got them from the pound land over one pound and I just get the rest of the contact paper measured it out and then I just um, attached it um, to the storage box again nice and neat smooth no bubbles everything just get it out and then that's what it looks like after I was finished I went in again with the mosaic mirror tiles but these ones are a little bit smaller than the ones I use actually on the console table so I just attach them all the way around onto the box then I use um, this little blade make an entry hole because I will be attaching um, and a handle these handles, I got them um, from Home Bargain, they were 4 for 2 dollars and they're quite small, quite nice as well, they don't weigh down the, the storage basket because obviously it's not that strong, so it looks so, so nice, and then look, wow, wow, just wow, oh my god, I am so in love with it, so, so in love with it, oh my god. This little chalkboard I got it from Home Bargain. It was $1.99, and this lantern I got from Home Bargain as well. It was $7.99, and I mean the candle I got from Poundland is one pound. And look, this little lantern I got, I got it from um, IKEA. It was two pound fifty, and those um, storage basket I told you I picked up from the Poundland. You cannot tell that they are from the Poundland because I've upgraded them so much. You cannot tell that they are the same. And then look at the feet. Um, of the <laughs> I'm not even sure what I'm saying but everything looks nice and then this is what I'm saying guys 
I want you to tell me what you like. This is the first decor that I've done and I'm thinking, okay, let's just switch it up. And then I did this other decor and I'm thinking, okay, I'm not too sure. But then I did another one and I want you guys to tell me what you think. So this is the third one. I, I like them all, but I'm going to tell you my favorite. My favorite, favorite because I'm so much in love with it. Yeah, this is my favorite. I love it. It shows a photo of me, Gabo and Tyrese, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you. Goodbye.